You know, Gary, I think you have to put all of this stuff in historical perspective. And you mentioned before that George Steinbrenner was the order, um, owner of the Yankees, and, and he was fully involved uh, with his ball club and liked the, uh, the back pages of the papers, uh, just the opposite of Nelson. Nelson was uh, a, a quiet. Uh, he considered all the players almost like family. Um, he'd always give you a bear hug when you saw him. He had a big smile and a big laugh. And uh, it's a big loss for, for Keith and I, uh, a guy that, uh, you know, we looked up to, uh, came from such a prominent family, and to have him own the club was, uh, was, was a great joy for both of us. Yeah, and I think, uh, Gary, too, uh, that he loved being the owner of the New York Mets, and he also loved the fact that it was an organization that was downtrodden. Uh, I remember coming in and playing with the Cardinals, and they would be a little old story in the middle of the sport page <laughs> about the Mets. They were so terrible. And you guys remember in the mid-70s, late-70s, early-80s, and all of a sudden capture New York, overtake the town, the Mets, uh, have the back page, steal it from the Yankees, and then be the owner of the team uh, that was a world championship, bring the Mets, one of two world championships. I remember most fondly, my fond memories of Nelson was that he would always come out in the, in the summer when it was a nice weather on a Sunday day yeah. game, and we'd be taking batting practice, and he'd be around the cage with us, uh, chatting with us, and just like one of the guys. So I'll miss him, uh, but he's, his life's to be celebrated, like I said earlier on the air. He's a wonderful man. He had a wonderful life. And, Gary, th doesn't this tell you most about a man is that when the Mets were as bad as bad it can be in the late 70s, early 80s, he was exactly the same person that when they started winning in 84, 85, 86. Never changed one iota. And that says, I think, more about the class of Nelson Doubleday, and, uh, and he'll be missed.